Ahoy there. You're Captain Deadeye, yeah? The one who knows about the supernatural. Good, good. You're just the pirate I was looking for. Thanks for letting me on your ship. Ah, you're the strong and silent type, huh? If you don't mind, I'll take a seat here. Ah, okay. Before we start, I must ask, did you have to order three of your men to escort me here? I realize you're being cautious, but your men got on my nerves. They kept glaring at me like I spit bile in their rum. I don't know about you, but I'd rather not be treated like an enemy. Especially by a fellow pirate. After all, I come here with good intentions and I never did you wrong. Aye, apology accepted. Trust is hard to come by these days. Now, let's talk business, shall we? Hmm. Where do I begin? Ah, yes. Three nights ago, a ghost ship attacked me and my crew. I... A ship full of those evil spirits and demons. That damned thing took some of me men, including me first mate, Wyatt. Ah, he was a brave, loyal man. Hell, if it wasn't for him, the rest of us wouldn't be alive today. I, uh, thank you for your condolences, but I'm not looking for pity. I'm looking for revenge. I'm going to destroy that blasted vessel. Of course I'm serious. I would do everything in my power to save my friends' souls. No? Why not? I... What you say about ghost ships does sound... scary. But this is exactly why I must fight that wretched being. Listen, Deadeye. You cannot change my mind about this. I need advice on how to fight ghosts. Not advice on whether it's okay to fight them. If I abandon the men who saved my life... My soul will never rest easy again. So, will you help me or not? Ah, you will. Great. As I was saying, when that ghost ship attacked us, we tried our hardest to fight those spirits off. To our horror, we found that our weapons were useless against them. It was like we were fighting air. Except the air hurt and killed us. Ah, so we need silver weapons to fight those bastards. Got it. Is there anything else? Enchanted necklaces, eh? Huh, where do I get those? Ah, I see. Then I can't just buy them at any old pawn shop. Say, do you know how to make those? You do? Excellent. Then I'm hiring you to make them. I'll pay you as much money as you want. I'm much obliged. I'll need seventeen enchanted necklaces that can ward off ghosts.
I can pay half now up front. Ha <laughs> ha uh, your prices won't be a problem. However, I need you to know one thing first. Don't you dare double-cross me. I am trusting you because I have no other choice, Savvy. You're the only pirate in Port Royal who knows about fighting the supernatural. Good. If you keep your promise, I'll keep up my end of the bargain. Here's your payment. Pfft. The bag I gave you is full of gold, rubies, diamonds, and sapphires. Is that enough for you? Ah, I already paid full price. Nice. I appreciate your honesty. Hmm. Could you get this job done in ten days? While you enchant those necklaces, my crew and I will be making those silver-plated swords, bullets, and cannonballs. Alrighty then. We have an accord. Let's shake on it. Meet me at the docks in front of the Devil's Heart at sundown in ten days' time. I'll see you then. Goodbye. Uh. They've brought five of their men. Ah, there you are. Good evening, Dead Eye. You got the enchanted necklaces? Ooh. Ah, they're glowing and shiny. It must have taken a lot of work to make those pretties. Mind if I count them? Alrighty. One. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Seventeen. Yep. Everything is here. I will take them then. Huh. <laughs> Thanks, matey. I'll pass these beauties on to my crew. Hmm. I noticed that you brought five of your men to escort you here. My friend, let me give you a word of advice. Perhaps you should relax more. Paranoia does not look great on a pirate captain such as yourself. Hold on. Did I hear you right? The six of you want to help me and my crew fight the ghost ship? Good gods! Are you certain? I am very grateful for this offer, but I couldn't ask you lads to risk your lives. After all, this is my fight, not yours. Well, if you are sure, then I welcome everyone here with open arms. Ha! I can't thank you and your boys enough. Please follow me. Let us board the Devil's Heart and set sail. Come in. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll take that as a yes. Things are going as well as they can be right now. The cannons are loaded, our men know the battle plan, and everyone is ready to fight. Mutant Mason and Jim the Star are on lookout duty. 
As soon as they spot the ghost ship, they will ring the bell and sound the alarm. Yep. All the preparations have been made. And now we wait. Did I? I haven't seen you for two days, so I got worried about your health. Ever since you boarded my ship, you've been holed up in your room. Is... Is something troubling you? I... You're scared, huh? I, I don't blame you. We're fighting some magical, cursed being. And I don't know if anyone has ever defeated a ghost ship before. Ah, oh, sure, sure. I, uh, I promise to keep this a secret. As captains, we need to be strong and brave in front of our crew. If we are not confident, they won't be either. Dead I. There's nothing wrong with being afraid. The truth be told, I'm scared too. Uh, but I'm not going to let that fear control me. We are going to fight with the best we have and pray that we are enough. I swore to my crew that we will win this battle, and that is exactly what we're going to do. I... glad we are on the same page. I believe in you, my friend. Remember that. Blimey! Do you hear that? The ghost ship is here! We have to go! No!